Heyo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction or read through for Boku no Hero Academia chapters 371, 372, and 373 at least. Uh, last time going through, I had a lot of fun with it. I was joking around, but like, so the last chapter that we read as a like sole chapter in itself, I thought was really good, but at the same time, very confusing. So at the beginning, we have the story that we're supposed to, and I'm I'm glad I actually got de got that during the video. That we're supposed to think that the flashback is spinners, but it's actually Shoji's, and it's really 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 good, really cool, um, a good subversion, all of that stuff. But what bothered me is I'm like, so we really didn't develop this whole you know, discrimination against, what are they called, heteromorphs. We didn't really develop that outside of, like, one odd mention, like, from Spinner in his flashback during the My Villain Academia stuff. We didn't see that as a persistent issue. Um, but they're saying, you know, it didn't really happen as much in the city. This is more out in rural areas. Uh, but at the same time, I'm just like, this seems like something that they're trying to say is like a huge, huge problem and deal in society when I kind of like, I get it. I absolutely get it. But on the one hand, I wish it was developed more throughout the series instead of just all at once saying, yeah, this is a big problem. Um, without any in the like 300 some chapters before this, without any like, you know, small building bit by bit or hints at it. Um, so I mean, again, it's one of those things you always kind of assume is or could be happening, but it's something that we didn't just, we didn't see as an audience, uh, going through it. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I think Shoji here, it'd be really cool if he got a win. Uh, but of course, All for One is, you know, banking on Spinner doing something. So I think even if Spinner gets taken down here, Spinner is going to do something that really helps the villains, uh, just because it's something that the villains are counting on happening. Oh yeah, breaking out Kurogiri. So I really think, and it'd be weird to just completely keep Kurogiri out of this last leg of the story, so I think Kurogiri being let out and doing things to continue on in the story does make more sense too, especially if Kurogiri goes to where Aizawa is, plus we have Aizawa where the Shigaraki all for one body is, which is where Kurogiri would be going to, and we have present Mike here where he would be escaping from, so I just kind of put that together. It would fit if Kurogiri breaks out, he would be first interacting with present Mike as he leaves here, then, or at least present Mike being like, oh no, Chitakumo was let out, escaped, um, and then be going to where Aizawa is, so I think that fits perfectly as well, and that might be a final opponent, final sort of thing for Aizawa to do is uh, to complete he and Shirakumo, he and Kurogiri's um, character arcs there. That could be a possibility. And just in general, I've been loving and having so much fun reading this on the week-to-week uh, -week basis, but when it comes to the story as a whole, like I kind of got at last time, last time I did a video, um, I don't know how I'm going to feel overall. I'm having a ton of fun just getting these little bits of story at a, at a time. And once I'm caught up, we're, instead of doing three chapters a week, I'm going to be stuck with one. So I'm going to be doing even smaller bits of story at a time. So it's one of those things where I'll, I'll really have to reread before forming good opinions on a lot of this stuff. Because um, a lot of this stuff, I just feel like my view of it is so small that a lot of my opinions on the greater scope of the story probably aren't going to be the best. Um, at least not without like rereading, without the presence of hindsight available to me, that kind of thing. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and start things off with 371. Also, if you hear a bunch of rumbling, it is uh, storming right now outside. Um, but we have the safety of those in the hospital. Number 371, together with Shoji. Tell me you have a plan, because if not, I won't let this stand. Ask if me have plan. And I think I saw somebody say in the comments that the way um, Spinner's dialogue is in Japanese is that they have the characters, like, going back and forth between Hiragana and Katakana, and that's how they're doing this dialogue, that they're kind of doing caveman speak for in the English translation. Ask if me have plan. Ow, what is problem? Boy hurt me. That sounds like Shoji. And we have um, Koda noticing. Who? And we have, again, another heteromorph there. Check out that kid. All those nasty scars on him. Yeah, but... It's just like you told us, Rep. 
how we gotta obey and steal back Kurogiri, even if it means sacrifices. Tell us what to do. We know you're true and just. Huh? And then, don't care. I just feel so bad for Spinner, you know? Having basically been Nomuized, pretty much. He doesn't care? Ahem, indeed. He's saying history is written in blood, meaning such things are unavoidable. That stupid kid and Spinner, too. They're making this harder than it needs to be, thinks the uh, spider guy from before. Press onward. Spinner, you're about to set us back 30 years. Shut up. Seriously, if that body bulk doesn't get the job done, consider using this gift as well. Can't care anymore. Scale mail will grant you power, defense, and a form befitting a leader. Not about any of it. Yeah, he's. it's because of the multiple quirks in one body that he's losing his mental faculties like a Nomu. League of Legends. Yeah, I played the- what? Hold on, what? Yeah, I played that one only on solo mode though. Hold on, what? Um, I, it just hit me that that was like a real game name. I was like, hold on, that's not like a fake in-universe game? And we have just solo queuing uh, Shigaraki. Just keep moving. And he cuts through, or I thought he cut through some of the, oh he did, he did cut through some of his arms, knocking Shoji into the side of the building, moving. And then, he sends him flying. Shoji, brethren, observe our chosen rep. He shows us how the oppressed and downtrodden must find the courage to strike back. We're martyrs for the revolution. Blood spilled today will lead to rights for future heteromorphs. That's ridiculous. Of all people, Shoji is. Thanks, Koda. Shoji is. And then we see him talking to all of their classmates. My parents didn't have arms like mine. We lived in an awful town. They all came out in force for a blood cleansing when I touched someone. Koda, Tokuyami, and others who grew up in cities might have read in textbooks, but are about areas of the country where children are still made to bear scars like mine. Screw that. The world would be better off without those creeps, said Mina. Maybe so, but the disparity remains. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm pretty sure I called you octopus once, thinks Mineta. Sorry, man, I wasn't trying to say you were gross or anything. It's only natural that my arms make people think of an octopus, says Shoji. And I actually, as much as I feel like, at first, I liked... I don't think I ever liked Manetta. I don't know what my old reactions were like or not. It's not like I've gone back and watched them from years ago. But my thoughts on Manetta as a character are like, I'm not really against pervy characters. But there's an issue with Manetta in that he goes, there's a certain line that you go past, like where he's like actually making other people's lives difficult. And when he's like actually crossing boundaries and touching people without consent, like pervy characters are fine, but Mineta goes too far into being like an actual predator. Um, but then on top of that, it's one thing if there's like a character arc made out of it, or if it's legitimately entertaining in some way, but Mineta is like 99 Point nine 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 uh, percent of the time, just annoying. Moneta's just annoying and doesn't add anything and isn't actually funny. So it's like, I'm cool with pervy characters. I'm cool with fan service. In fact, I am very pro fan service. But I'll, but like Moneta is not that. Moneta's just like annoying and a waste of space almost all of the time. So. You know, it's actually a good moment, him not being actual garbage and apologizing for something he said uh, way back in the past. I went for Tentacle as my hero name since Taco is Japanese for octopus, and it's not like I'm unaware of the widespread heroes who look like villains rankings and stuff like that. I wouldn't want people to tiptoe around the issue for my sake, but my scars and heteromorph form are bound to make people wonder, so I wear the mask since I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm out for revenge. That takes strength, says Tokiyami. I've been through plenty of terrible times that I'll never forget, but... And he thinks about, oh, so the person he touched must have been saving them from the river that we saw in the, um... Because we saw the river last chapter. Rather than dwell on the bad memories. And he jumps in to save them, like a hero, just moving. And he saves them. I'd rather cling to the single good one related to this body of mine. And then we have Asui experienced this warmth during the cavalry battle of volume 4. 
Only one good memory. Say it ain't so. We have the Kirishima, um, Mina, and Kaminari trio jumping in. We'll make a million of them together, buddy. This familiar warmth and Suyu jumped in as well. You've got us. There'll be a lot of good memories down the road. And we have Koda and Mineta and everybody going in too. Exactly. Nice and warm. But I know it'll take more than one generation to tear down a wall that stood for over a century. So, just as those who came before have done, I'll keep paying it forward. Man, I love Shoji. I loved Shoji even before this. So him getting this kind of moment, this kind of development... Like, it gives me chills, it makes my heart warm. I love it. Because I've loved Shoji for a long time. I'll be the coolest hero the world's ever seen. To give good memories to generations to come. I was persecuted too. And no, the people who hurt us weren't justified. But there's gotta be a better way. Several shelters turned me away. No heteromorphs allowed, they said. And we see Ipan Jose. Oh my god. I love bringing her back as well. Don't care. Destroy all. Think about how to make use of that rage. I know you can. We've all got scars we carry. And then, were it that easy to bury the hatchet, it wouldn't have come to this, says the spider guy. Do you offer a feasible solution? No. Only the pathetic cry of your ego. Our hearts are long since hardened by society. Far too hard to be moved by such child er, su such childish naivety. And then, we have all the uh, birds flocking in towards the guy. Don't you care? Or don't you dare mock Shoji. And it looks like his head is bursting open as Koda controls them. And then, gross. Oh? Shoji is like wrapping his arms together around an arm to basically all for one himself. Yeah. This is who I am. So cool. I love Koda and Joji. I love that we're getting development for them. Because like I said, one of my complaints when it comes to like the overall story more is that we've introduced a ton of characters. And as much as I love a lot of them, like Shoji's a great example. I love Shoji. I wish he had got to do more. Kirishima's one of my absolute favorites. I want even more. Um, Mina, we haven't got really, we haven't really gotten to see much of. I want more. Um, Characters, I really love Asui. That's somebody else I was going to bring up at the beginning who I really love. I even have, you can't even see it behind me, an Asui figure back there. Um, but like, I feel like she hasn't gotten as much as I'd like. So it's like we have a bunch of side characters and I feel like we could have maybe done more with all of the side characters. That's not a huge complaint because we have done a decent bit with like a bunch of characters. And I really respect how much has been done with so many of them. Um... But I love this. I, just, I want more of these characters. I love it. Uh, so either way, I'm going to go ahead and read 372. We can talk more as we go through the next two. And it looks like moving into 372, we are actually staying with this side of things, which I'm excited for. Um, Please assign us to defending Central Hospital, says uh, Shoji with Koda behind him. How'd you find out? We never told you about that. That large one said some troubling things, so I asked her more about what's going on out there. All right, the big lady. Plus, some of the refugees mentioned... She is so hot. I'm just saying it. I'm coming out. I'm coming clean. She is so hot. Ivan Jose, big lady. Oh, my God. Simping hard. I don't... So, like, if we're talking... I've actually done a Hero Academia waifu ranking before. I don't know if she was around back then or not. So, my top five are still all three members of the Pussycats, Izuku's mom, and Miriko. That's, like, my top five best girls. But Ivan Jose could go up top... 10 maybe maybe well at least top 15 because you get into top 10 there are also other characters i like but like yeah ipan jose hot. i'm just saying it um something about a call to action that's how we learned that a group of heteromorphs are going after the hospital if shoji's going then so am i standing or standing back while this plays out would mean i could never call myself a hero we have number 372 naked and then we were we spread false rumors about where he was transferred, but the enemy didn't take the bait, says Aizawa. Yamada, I hate to ask, but can you be there to support the boys? And then, again, I just feel like it's not going to go perfectly. I think they will probably take down Spinner, but I also think that Spinner will probably succeed so that both sides get a win. The heroes get the win of taking down Spinner, but Spinner gets the win of freeing Kurogiri to help move around the pieces that you need to move around. Um, 
Know this, Aizawa Sensei. They say quirks get stronger by the generation. These kids, no, these young men, are all ready. And we have the punch coming in from last time. Way stronger than we were back in our day. As the three dumb bingos. And then, one day, Koji, your horns might grow in too. And we have his mom talking. Oh, and I guess, is that a pet or is that a sibling? Because <laughs> they're holding it like a sibling, but I didn't know he had younger siblings. And with these horns, you'll be able to beam your thoughts and feelings to animals that are even further away. Your mama has had to put up with some real cruelty because of the way she looks. But your dad got so riled up on my behalf that he told those awful people not to mock my amazing horns. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Koji, it's okay to be mad. Grow up to be a man who gets mad when people mock something or someone dear to you. Hitchcock, Octo, Spansion, Birds, Hitchcock Birds, <laughs> that's actually a great attack name. And then Octo Spansion. Oh, and he erupts out his arm as he's punching, I'm assuming, them because of the name. And we also have um, Present Mike going for the assist. Hmm. What will you choose to protect? With those scales and that giant body? Tell me, Spinner. The rest of you, too. What are you hoping to protect with your gifts and your powers? And we have the crying image of Aoyama. Don't let them exploit your wounds. Your children might be the next target. And then, if I'd never fell in that river, they never would have hurt your face and made it all scary. And the girl, wow, told him, be better than mere Avengers. The grudge never fades. And that's what Spinner says. Rep, if heroes win the day, nothing will ever change. It's the call to action. We heard that night. For the crime of walking in public, they sprayed me with pesticide. When they hit us, we hit them back. Brethren, be heard and follow me. And I love how we just have the scale-covered face, like, just completely raging and angry and not even like looking emotive anymore whereas we have the sad spinner saying it on the left and he jumps from the building all the way toward the hospital even stronger now with enough power to crack that concrete and the birds are catching shoji from falling they're even more fired up too many of them can't take much more and we see a gun and we have the gunshots firing off but spinner crashing through and crush a while crushing the officers. Kurogiri was transferred to the research wing. Once you reach him, play a recording of my or Tomoto's voice. Kurogiri's quirk will bring an end to this conflict. We see the impatient ward. Unless this is all going to be a big, like, subversion, he's not actually going to be there if they did fool them. And we see this line of doctors standing in the way. Just normal people. All for Tomoto's sake. You will become a hero. And then we have the screaming. We see this pig guy looking on as he, yeah, it looks like he's one of the guys breaking in. And he's seeing like even among the doctors standing there, there's heteromorphs. We have patients in the hospital. I never thought I'd get to be anyone, but by following you, maybe I really can be somebody. Shigaraki, just watch me. And we have Kid Spinner running. I've got my allies behind me. Shoji must have gotten through to them. And listen, that guy in there ain't gonna be your ace in the hole. Oh, did they stop when they saw the doctors and saw, like, innocent patients and heteromorphs among them? And then the one standing in the way is present Mike. Kurogiri Shirakumo. Oh, and again, like he said, yell out to them. But... Then we have his real name being yelled by um, Present Mike. God, this is so good. This is one of the best chapters in a long time. I feel like these chapters have had a lot more going on than the Shigaraki All for One fights. Like, the Shigaraki All for One fights and the Dobby fight, I feel like were kind of meh overall. Like, there were good parts. But I felt like they were kind of meh overall. But I think the original Body All for One stuff, where you had like... What was it? Was it Tokuyami and um, Kyoka's group and like Hawks and Endeavor fighting? I think that was really compelling. And I think this stuff has been the best so far, maybe. 
This has been so good. But either way, it's been incredibly good. Gonna move on to the next chapter now, and then we can discuss more. I just think there are so many things, like I brought up while reading, so I don't really need to re-recap. Like them both yelling the names at the end when they meet up with him. The deeper stuff with the flashbacks and the interactions between the characters. Spinner's character, and how there is just this sadness inside. Um, from the real Spinner trying to be someone, trying to do good. Um, but he's just been manipulated his his hurt has been taken over and used to turn him into a monster um which is like kind of really because it's like before people treated him as a as a monster but now it's like his hurt has been used to manipulate him into actually like becoming more monstrous and they're using his like physical image to further like demonstrate it it's just been really good but either way gonna move on to 373 for now we end things here with a hell of a color page as well hold on i haven't really looked at it i've been avoiding it number 373 friends and we see this like mix in the color between kurogiri and shirakumo which is sick all right and then i'm going after spinner at the hospital stay here and do whatever it takes to keep them all out and we have somebody coming in from behind with a weapon. But the pig guy stops him. And then... Man, I love the facial expressions and everything too. I... I, uh... I think maybe we're using our anger the wrong way. Do not cower. Do not halt. Follow our rep. And we have the spider guy. Looks like he's being held down. The whole wicked system has turned a blind eye for too long. Teach them the error of their ways. Think only of the, the abuse you've endured. I, I am. I'm thinking real hard. I got beaten up for no good reason, and my blood boils just thinking about it, yet. And then he, sta he steps in front of him. Are you gonna laugh at me for being so indecisive? I got real pumped up when I heard folks talking about the call to action. They said staying silent would be siding with evil. Since the world turned its back on us, we had to turn the world upside down. I heard about our rep, our messiah. Are we doing the wrong thing here? Don't care. But the whole world, really. What's that even mean? I, I couldn't bring myself to hurt the folks in that hospital. That stupid octopus has become a real thorn in our side. Right when we'd managed to radicalize their passion into a mighty meat shield. That passion and fervor was meant to bring about our supremacy. Enough nonsense. Don't stop to think. And then we see it looks like heads on pikes even. Why have you stopped? This is a revolution. March forward, bring it all crashing down. Was I really wrong about all this? Should I have sat at home and kept quiet? The feelings that made you rise up today were neither useless nor wrong, says Shoji tearing up. The ones who've heard us haven't been dragged into the light yet. We've heard your voices loud and clear today. Sorry for not realizing sooner, says the hero. But you never stop thinking about er, about all of it. You look like a bright and shining example to me. Let's use that light to change those who inflict harm until they find it in themselves to be ashamed of their cruelty. That fervor of theirs. And then, all we could do to defend ourselves was fight fire with fire. Let's go. They need reinforcements in the hospital, says Rocklock. And now we see the research wing. And we have Spinner being blown back by present Mike. And dropping the recording. The recording. Without all for one or Shigaraki's voice, he won't wake up. If Kurogiri's about to get taken back, I know what I gotta do. Ever since then, he hasn't budged even a little. Maybe he really is broken beyond repair. Mind going all blank. And Spinner's reverting to his normal self. Body won't obey commands. Only got this far. And he's like, right there in front of him. No one's backing me up. Can't wake up Kurogiri, and he thinks about Dobby. So what you're saying is you're an em or you're basically just an empty cosplayer. That my whole heart was totally empty. All that passion got me worked up, got me to take a stand, made me think. All I wanted was to follow him until he could stand tall. And he sees the hand that he dropped in front of him. Spinner's grounded. If need be, this was the last resort in the plan to divide and conquer. You know, Shirakumo, our pal's already lost an eye and a leg. Don't go ripping those good memories away from him, too. 
And if you ain't Shirakumo anymore, then do us a favor and fade away. Leave us the memories. Is he going to try to kill him? But hey, if you're still our friend from back then, so is he going to try to wake him up and bring him back to being Shirakumo? Or is he going to try to kill him just to make sure that, like, you know, Shirakumo doesn't go out on a villainous note? But then, Spinner gets back up. He thinks about his time with Shigaraki. Just sitting and talking to him. You gotta save Shigaraki. And he holds the hand up to his face. Shirakumo. And then we have him breaking from his restraints with the black mist coming from him. I am the protector of Tomoda Shigaraki. And Spinner collapses. What a great set of three chapters. This is the best set of three chapters since I've been back easily. Holy crap, all three of those were insanely good. From the character stuff to the overall story, insanely good. The art was really great. And there is this problem sometimes with reading Hero Academia or reading One Piece, One Piece a lot as well, where you read a chapter and you're like, nothing much happened. But wow, so much happened these three chapters. They were incredibly, incredibly good. Easily the best three so far. That was amazing. That was it. like, I am still blown back. That was so good. I love these characters. I love the way Horikoshi has managed to make me care about all of these characters. Um, still need to read Vigilante so I can care more about the whole Shirakumo stuff. I read the first. I did one read through of it here on the channel, maybe two, uh, but I didn't have time to continue. I really need to do that at some point. But either way, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it. I've talked a lot about these chapters through the um, video itself. I hope my insight was valuable. Uh, but if you did like my first thoughts and reaction, drop a like. If you want to, like, tell me what you thought of my first thoughts and reaction. Tell me what you thought of these chapters. I'd love always to discuss them in the comments, to discuss them um, on Twitter if you want there, or on Discord if you want a link, just ask and I can give you a link to the server. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, um, it'd be appreciated if you wanted to support the channel. You could drop a super thanks down below, or if you want to get one piece a bit early, if you want to get um, a shout out at the end of every single video, you can hit join down below to become a member, or you can uh, go to patreon.com slash of the tubes, or a link will be in the description to become a patron. Uh, either way, thank you to those patrons and channel members. Uh, thank you to Chosen Regular Evan Holly, Magical Girls, FR Nono, Huarion, and Smeller Dog, Cherryton Student, David Langstaff, and Slayer Candidate, SG. Thank you all so, so much for your support. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you all next time.